Today is officially the last day of 2021. It has been a hell of a ride in the crypto space this year. We've had many ups and downs, tears of joy and tears of pain. Overall, I am excited to see what's going to happen in 2022, how much more this space will continue to develop and get accepted. And I'm also excited for the potential of this channel and how much more it can grow in 2022. So today, let's keep it short and sweet. Take a look at where Bitcoin is today, where it could possibly go, depending on the chart patterns in some indicators and do a quick little recap of the year that we had. So let's dive right into today's video. Alrighty, guys. So let's go ahead and take a look here at the chart and see what's been going on this week so far. So you can see after having a beautiful green candle last week, this week has been kind of the opposite. Um, it sent us all the way back down with basically the same size candle here. And at this point right now, this would actually be an engulfing bearish candle. So last week we had the bullish engulfing. This week, if we were to close right now at this moment, it would be a bearish engulfing candle, which is obviously a bearish candle there. And, and that would not be pretty for the um, weekly outlook here, at least in the short term. Now, the other thing um, currently where we are is that we're yet again under that 50 week moving average. Remember that we spoke about that we got the bounce back up last time. So we're currently under it. Now, there there still is, of course, the possibility to close above, close a week above it. Um, there's a lot of talk in the air right now saying that, um, you know, to start off the year, it might be bullish um, in January that we're going to get that move up. And right now, it's just not enough volume in the market. So uh, people with a lot of money can move the market a lot easier right now. There's also, of course, a lot of people out on holidays and stuff like that. So, um, you know, there's a lot of factors that that can come into this, into the reason why this week we've gone down so much. And right now, there's really not much to do, but just kind of wait it out and see what happens, see what develops over the next uh, few days. Now, the bullish perspective here is that if we take a look at this, we can see here what exactly what's been going on on the daily here where we've been rejected multiple times until we finally got a breakout above that resistance. And now we're retesting where the resistance that we broke out from. So now let me show you guys something on why this could also be a bullish pattern. Now look at this pattern here. Doesn't this look very familiar right now where we've been getting rejected from resistance. We had a dump off and then finally we get a breakout. But after the breakout, we come back and retest that trend line before continuing higher. This is called a bump and run reversal bottom. So that that top part is a lead in phase. The bottom part where we dump off is the bump phase. And then when we break out and retest, that's called the throwback to trend line phase before the uphill run. So if now we look back at our chart, we'll see that this is the lead in phase. This is the bump phase. And this would be the throwback to the trend line phase before the uphill run. And you'll see the same thing play out in a lot of different charts. You can see here the same thing. A. B and then C's when it throws back and then it takes off. Bitcoin itself has done the same pattern before, before breaking out. And then of course, there is a possibility that it could be a failure as well. You can see here that this one was a success, but you can see on this one here that it's not always going to be a success. Sometimes it could fail and continue down lower. Remember that as traders, what we're looking for is probability. This is a game of probability. Now, the reason that I believe that um, that's the pattern that we're currently in and that the higher probability is to the upside is because one, we just had a falling wedge breakout, right? That's another reversal pattern. Two, we've had here a bullish divergence in the market. So again, that's another reversal signal. Three, we're here at a very big support level, right? 
So this this whole green box here is a huge support um, and most likely a bottom for this current drop. So again, that's three different things that are pointing at the same thing, pointing, saying that we're expected to bounce and head up higher. And then of course, on the more macro level, none of the long-term indicators that have been very reliable have called a peak yet. And if we actually look at the advanced NVT signal indicator here, this is actually flashing a buy signal here. So if you look at the current level that it's at and you look at last time that we were, we were in this same level, you can see that the Bitcoin price, look at this, Bitcoin price went up, right? Now let's look further back to the time before that, that we were in this, in this range. Again, Bitcoin price bottomed out, went way up. If we go further back to the time before that, that we were in this range, you can see here that we bottomed out and we had a rally to the upside before continuing down. And if you just keep looking back, you'll see that every time it's been in this range, it's kind of said that, okay, we've hit a bottom for the moment and price is going to go higher, right? So almost every single time, if you just continue to look back throughout history. All right, guys, so let's zoom out and see what an incredible year this has been. Although there's been so much up and down. And if you really zoom out and look at it, it really looks like we've just been trading within a range, like consolidating, right? And we've kept our higher highs, higher low, higher high, higher low. So this year we're up over 60% year to date. The low this year was set at 27,678. The high of the year was of course $69,000. After opening the year at 27,000, we rallied all the way up 134% to a high of $65,000 before having the epic meltdown of around, it was a, a pullback of around 55% back in, of course, um, May and June, basically, into July, before we had our move back up starting in July. That took us up about also 135%, very close to, to this initial move. And that gave us a new all-time high, of course, of $69,000. Now, ever since that high, we've gone down as low as 38% on this pullback. And currently, we're down about 33% from that all-time high. So if we were to move back to that all-time high, that's about a 50% move. If we were to see another, let's say that we saw another 130, 135% move up, from the low on this move, then that gives us a price of actually, it's almost right on $100,000. That will be an amazing way to start 2022. So that's it guys. Happy New Year's to each and every one of you. Thank you guys so much for everyone who has supported not only my channel, but myself and my other social media platforms in 2021. You guys have made this an incredible, incredible year. I cannot wait to see what's in store for us in 2022. Hopefully in 2022, we can get our Instagram account back. Please, Mark, if you're watching this, give us our account back. We want it. We want it back. Guys, don't forget if you're new here to subscribe to the channel, turn on the notifications so that you see our videos when we actually post them up. If not, sometimes YouTube won't show you the videos whenever we upload new ones. Also, guys, do not forget to smash the like button. This is the last one of 2021. Smash the like button on this one. Let's get it to 2022 likes. <laughs> and that's it, guys. I appreciate you guys. Happy New Year's. Be safe out there. I'll see you guys all next year. As always, peace and love.